macro. So uh, inflation is already elevated. Uh, potentially, this fuel price could feed into it, but there is a buffer there as well in the form of excise duties. Yeah, so I am not so bothered about inflation in the sense that, uh, you know, it's it's. I think everybody knew that inflation would cross 6% now. And I think that, uh, you know, somewhere in the middle of the year, inflation will come down uh, because of four, five reasons. Number one, uh, we are expecting a La Nina. Number two, growth is fairly weak. Uh, number three, uh, money supply is fairly tight. Number four, the RBI is high FX reserves are stabilizing the rupee. And number five, I think, you know, once uh, these tensions come off and the Fed hikes, uh, commodity prices will come down. I mean, this is, uh, you know, it's not as if commodity prices will remain here or only keep going up at this point. I mean, usually I would say oil and uh, equities move the same way. Risk on drives up oil prices, drives up equities, drives up FII flows. Right now, of course, because of geopolitical tensions, you have risk off in equity markets and, uh, you know, oil is going up. Uh, so I think that, you know, uh, if the government were to want to keep prices at current levels, oil pump prices at current levels, they need to spend about 80,000 crore, the, you know, by way of excise duty cut, uh, which should not be such a worry because the RBI will have sold $30 billion. So yeah. if the RBI sold $30 billion, they'll have more capacity to do open market operations. Uh, you know, so whatever, you know, the $10, $11 billion of extra open market operations you need, the RBI should be able to conduct. So, so from that perspective, I think that uh, I would think the government will not pass on the oil price hike spike to the people and instead, you know, maybe absorb it or cut, cut oil taxes.